Hello, guys. Today I'm interviewing Monarchy Buck. She is one win, one defeat. And, um, yeah, how are you? I'm all good. How are you? I'm good, mate. Um, good, good. So my, my first question is, well, I think I know the answer. What's been your hardest fight so far? <laughs> you do know the answer, don't you? Um, definitely, well, definitely my, the same opponent. Obviously, I had the same opponent re, as a rematch, isn't it? So, yeah, I think, the, I think the hardest fight's been with myself rather than with the opponent. Cause, um, but would you say the first fight? Cause you, yeah. Yeah. Were you yeah, I'd say, I'd say, the first, I say the first fight, um, because obviously I I didn't perform how I should have performed, so yeah, it was a more of a case of me, like me versus me. Like I knew I could box better than what I did because I just basically crumbled on the first fight, yeah, and then she, the second yeah. fight, she brought the heat more. I think she 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 come to w get a win, but obviously I was prepared more. Yeah. So yeah. So, Which is good. Yeah, which is really good, yeah. Were you nervous um, for your debut? Because it was like on the Matchroom show. Yeah, definitely. I think I think that's what that's what got to me. I think that's why... Well, yeah, I know that's why I lost. It, I think it was just the occasion was so big. I wasn't prepared for it. And I think that leading up to the fight, I was prepared. And then as soon as I got... As soon as I got to the ring walk and the cameras are in my face I was like whoa this just reminds me of like a film <laughs> basically and like when I got into the ring everything like it wasn't it just wasn't slowed down everything was so quick even me like it was like almost like I got pushed in there boom fight and I was like whoa and then it just yeah I think that everything that went out the window do you still think it's a even though you didn't get the result you wanted did you enjoy like the whole fight week experience and stuff yeah definitely I think it was really fun like um I said this in my my post fight interview actually like matchroom were really good at like you know building you up and kind of like getting you a fan base and before they before people even know who you are because it was my pro debut yeah. it was it was a reduction for me because no one knew who I was so I got to like kind of you know, get like a little fan base. I was like taking pictures of people and stuff. And it was good because like, you know, the promotion of it, like you said, it was like fight week was fun. It was really fun. Whereas like if you do small shows, there's like, you know, the leading up to it is kind of like a little bit different, you know? So it was good. Yeah. Are you signed with Matchroom? No, I'm not signed with Matchroom. I'm signed with Let's Go Management. Um, so they've got like with Lee and yeah so yeah they've got a lot of fighters and stuff and he's 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 a really good manager um so yeah I mean who knows what the future holds and then now I feel like I'm back on track I'm gonna see what's out there and see to go from there really yeah because you revenged your defeat and well you did you won every round and you made yeah. it look easy oh I don't know about that <laughs> I, don't, I mean I haven't watched the fight back yet but um I think that yeah, it was yeah it was it was good it was good for me. I I I got to lay my demons to rest because for me, biggest that was the biggest uh, test for me. And I I did say this to um to my coach that if I lost if I would have lost to Esther, I probably would have considered whether boxing was a career to carry on. Not because I'm a quitter, but because I'm I just thought like well, I've lost all yeah. once. If you lost to her twice, would have you like gone on the road or? No, that's not me. I don't see myself as a journey woman. Um, so if I if I lost to her, I probably would have just looked for another route, maybe coaching or something different. Because I just think that like the certain fights you need to get through to test yourself, and and if you want to progress in the sport there's going to be certain type of people you need to box. And if you can't get past them, then it's going to be hard for you to, to get anywhere in the sport. Well, you've got past them now, which is the main thing. 100%. What 100%. got you in? Did you have an amateur boxing career? 
I didn't. I didn't. I had five fights. Um, and I wish I would have had more fights because I think the experience is something that I'm obviously lacking. Um, but I just feel like I did try to get amateur fights, but there was just nothing around. So I kind of just had to, to either turn over or just stop boxing because, yeah, that's that's the only option I had, really. Yeah. So um, when do you think you'll get um your next... I know you've had a fight, like, I think, yeah, last week. But when mm -hmm. do you want to get out again? To be honest, um, it'd be nice to enjoy the, the rest of the year and just, like, because there's a lot of things coming up and stuff. But I'm kind of, like, I'm back in the gym. Like, I'm, I was training today. Like, I'm kind of, like, seeing it like I'm ready. I'm ready to, to go again. Um, I don't think anything will happen in, until the new year, but I, I know there's quite a lot of boxing shows in the new year. Do you want to um, stay busy? Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Get them fights now, isn't it? I think they're like the biggest test for me is gone. Is you know, I like like you said, I rip, I've like kind of like faced my demons, restarted my career again. So I think in the new year, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely try to get be active as as much as possible and get some fights under my belt. Yes. So who's your trainer? My trainer's Tony Borg, and um, I've been doing bits with Lee Selby. So, yeah, Lee Selby's been helping me. Um, I'm not officially under him, but he's been helping me a lot. So it's kind of like back and forth that's to two trainers. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Because he was a former world champion. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah. He's... A, he's He's um very knowledgeable, so you know, he's been in there and he knows his, he knows his stuff. So was he it's good your, to Was he in your corner for your fights? Um, he wasn't in my corner, no. But I did hear his voice in the crowd. Like he was, he was, he was like ringside. You know what I mean? So I could hear him saying certain things, as well as my coaches. And I was, I was listening. Because when I'm sparring, he's his voice is like prominent in my in my head. If I like, if he, you know, if I do something wrong, I hear him say it. So I I was listening when I was in because the third round, I think third round, I think I the emotions got to me a little bit because I was just I switched off for a little bit and I heard him say something and I was like, okay, yeah, switch back on. So yeah, it was good to to be able to have him supporting me, but not in my corner, but I still heard his voice like. Yeah. So how long have you been with your trainer for? Since the start of my uh, professional career. Um, I started training with Tony probably just before the lockdown. So, yeah, I've been with him ever since since I started. Yeah. Do you... F if Matchroom come back to Wales, would you want to get back on the Matchroom show to prove what you're, you, what you're made of and show them the real you? Yeah, yeah, good question, yeah. No, I thought about this as well. Definitely, 100%, percent i will be up for that. I mean, it's not it's not every day someone can say they've debuted on a matchroom card unless they're a, an Olympian or a prospect. So, obviously, I'm, I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity. Obviously, it didn't go my way, but I would I would definitely get back in there and go on a matchroom card. Probably, I'd probably want a couple more fights, but if yeah. they did come back to Cardiff, I'd definitely be up for that. Does Lee Eaton do any shows in Cardiff? Yeah, he's got quite a lot of connections. Um, he's done a few of his own shows, actually. I think he did one last year. Um, yeah, it might, it might have been a couple of months ago. I'm not, I can't actually remember. But, yeah, he's he's, yeah. he's done his own shows, like, you know. And I know that the Let's Go Management brand is growing and, and expanding. So I definitely think there'll be... Uh, quite a lot of opportunities for me in the, in the future, which is good. So, will you only be fighting in Wales, or will you come down to England, or wherever the opportunities are? Would you just take them? Yeah, like um, I think, like I said, this again is I think with boxing, you've got to be business minded as well. It's not just about fighting. So, I think if the if the opportunity was um presented to me and it was the right opportunity like the right financial backing as well because it's a career at the end of the day um i take it yeah and i do want to get out of wales yeah 100 i think i've got quite a good fan base to stretches outside of wales as well 
and I want to expand on that more. So if I can fight in like, you know, the famous places like York or and stuff like that. Lee Eaton put some good shows on at your call. Good atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So um, I definitely want to do your call. I've always wanted to, like, box at your call anyway, so I think that would be cool to do yeah. something like that. Who's your biggest boxing inspiration? Um, Obviously, Muhammad Ali. And uh, I've I've got quite a few. I'd say Pernell Whitaker, um, Chocolatito. Do you like Savannah Marshall? And then women boxers, yeah, I was about to say. Savannah Marshall's amazing, yeah. Clarissa Shields. Do you want to Layla. see the rematch? Yeah, I'd love to see the rematch. Do you want to see the rematch? I want to see the rematch. Yeah, 100%. I think Savannah Marshall, Um, she's super talented, strong. And I think if she went back in there again, it'd be, it'd be good to see like how she boxed. She'd probably box a different way as how she boxed before. Yeah, because... So. When it went to decision, I, I knew Clarissa did enough. Yeah, definitely. I think I think it's, they did styles make fights at the end of the day. You can't take away they're both just so super talented. But um Clarissa's obviously a lot more she's a lot more speed, whereas Savannah Marshall's a lot more like loose and heavy. And I think them two stars together is like one or the other. It's kinda like the, so only, nice. the only re is because at, at world level, at middleweight, I, I, I don't know who else is world level at the minute at middleweight, like who's up there with them. Yeah. I mean, there's a quite a few, well, there's quite a few kind of like, what is, is uh, Christina Hammer, is she middleweight now or is she super middleweight? Uh, I'm not sure, but maybe she might. Yeah. She, oh, she, she could be up there. Yeah. And also, uh, I watched Lauren Price box um on the on the card and she i reckon she'll be a couple more fights she'll be up there as well but is she your weight is she because you're middle yeah i've come down to middleweight lauren price is middleweight yeah you never know that could be a fight in the <laughs> yeah, I mean, two welsh women but now she i mean i just got to build my career like yeah. she's obviously you know she's amazing so yeah shout out to lauren but um It'd be good to see where I go next year and what I'll do, you know. Get some good fights under my belt. Get the experience and stuff. Yeah. So how many fights do you want next year? About four, three? Yeah, um, I haven't thought about it. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. I just want to be active, as a, like have good camps, you know. Have, Busy have as possible. The, yeah, and have the right amount of time for a camp. That's the That's the most important thing. I took the first fight on two weeks notice. Um, I wasn't meant to fight until the end of the month, so I would have had a full camp. But I didn't. I, I took it on short notice, and I think that it's, it because it's it was on such a big platform. Yeah, so I decided to do it because it was such a big platform. But Did I think you do that training even before the phone rang. Yeah, I was still training, but I didn't. I just kind of was like at the beginning of my camp. So I think that that plays a massive part. You know, having a full camp is, is is detrimental. And I don't think that I'd ever do it again unless it was like a life-changing opportunity that I couldn't turn down. I, I, I would wait until I had like a full camp, good sparring, got the diet right and stuff like that. Felt good fitness-wise as well. Do you think you're... Do they do like a Welsh area title for like the women? Because they do for the men. They do for the men, yeah. Do you know what? I don't. I don't actually know. Um, they should good... do. They should. They, yeah, they should do that because I know that um, Lloyd Germain from my gym. Um, yeah. He's got the last title. He's and, very uh, good. Yeah, yeah, he's good, and he's uh, you know, he's proved himself. He's come. He's he's probably one of the most improved fighters out of Wales, uh, to be honest. So it, yeah, I I need to ask this question actually. When I go to the gym, I'm gonna say. Is there um is there a title is there a Welsh title for women? I know there is in the amateurs, but for the pros, I don't think there is. Well, I'm not sure. I but... personally think they should. Yeah, I mean, it's it's difficult because there's not many pro women in Wales, so I don't know uh... how that would work. <laughs> so maybe that's why there's lack of pro pro women. I think there's me, Lauren. Um... Is that I'm trying to think? Uh, uh, La Lana Cooper. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I think, I think there might be Lana's, three. Lana's, I think she's five and oh. I'm not actually sure of her record, but I've, I know she's been boxing for a long time. So I, I know she's pro. Yeah, um, she is. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think when there's more women, there's a, there's a lot more amateur, really good amateurs in Wales. Maybe a few have... amateurs could come through in the next few years. But yeah, it exactly. depends if you... I'm sure you would want to push on quite like quickly. Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the thing with women's boxing. It's like it doesn't start off like men's, as in obviously, I don't think there there's many journey women around for it to be like kind of like that. But the opportunities can come quicker because there's not many women. So Which I think it's they... kind of a bonus in a way if you want to build your career up very fast and get yeah to following, you know. Definitely, I you, agree. Yeah. Do you do well? Do you do well selling tickets? Yeah, I. I mean, uh, the first fight I sold quite a lot. I was quite surprised, and I didn't even have much notice. So definitely um, pulled that one out of the bag. The second fight, I think the date was a little bit difficult because it was bonfire night. A lot of people out there, kids and stuff. Oh yeah. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to say definitely for my next fight, I think the whole of Cardiff will be backing me because pe people like, you know, they, they wanted me to win. And I've done, I've got the win. I think it'd be good for me to go into the next fight and have that, have that back in my city. So it'd be nice. Yeah. And my last question for you is, do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a boxer? Definitely. Um, go for it. <laughs> If that's what you want, just don't let anyone ever tell you you can't do something. Um, and and the, the boxing world, at the end of the day, you've got a thick skin. So just get your mind right, get, get that right before anything else. And just be smart about your decisions. Get a good team around you and make sure and, and make sure that, you know, the people that are around you are there for you, basically, because it's important to have a good team. But yeah, um, any boxers, male or female, young boxers, just 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 be smart about your decisions and keep fit, and just live live the life really, because there's no cutting corners in boxing. <laughs> Once you're in that ring, it's you and them. So you you've got to train hard and and make sure you know your mental state's right as well. It's eighty percent mindset, trust me. Yeah, thank you for your time, and I'm Thanks, keep smashing it. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.